Hey guys, Andrew Piotrowski from Engearment.com. I'm out here in the barn tonight. Um, just got done a little workout, did some climbing, and I figured it was a good time to review these shoes. These shoes are the Nyad shoe from 510. Um, admittedly, I've been a huge fan of 510 for a long time. I've worn a ton of their shoes. I'm actually taking these up to up to Summit of Mount Whitney a few years ago. Um, and I've had, a, I've had a range of other climbing shoes as well, but I'm really a big fan of the 510 shoes. I'm really excited about the Nyad shoes um, for a number of different reasons, right? So one of the reasons, probably the biggest reason I like these is they're super comfortable. Um, they are, you know, they're named after Nyad, right? So Nyad is nose in a day. So when we say nose in a day, we're talking about the nose in Yosemite and that's a huge day, right? That's multiple days, maybe a day for some people. For me, it's probably about 10 days, right? But it's they're designed for all day comfort in a variety of different climbing situations. Um, and that's what I love about them. I, I can wear these all day and not feel like I need to rip them off after every pitch. Um, however, sometimes with shoes that are super comfortable in climbing, we give up performance. And I don't find that to be the case with these at all. Um, so let me kind of go over some highlights. There's a couple of things I think really help to make them super comfortable. Um, one of them off the bat is this microfiber inner right here on the top. You know, sometimes with climbing shoes, you get that like sticky rubber there or some weird different materials. But this, it's really nice on the top of your foot. It's not itchy. I find it to be pretty warm and nice, you know, like, late fall conditions. Um, so that's super comfortable. I also found the toe box to be, feel a little a little wider, which is awesome, right? They, you know, while they're wider, they don't give up any performance. So like you still can grab very small edges and things easily, but your feet are not, at least my feet were not screaming in them. And I have wide, pretty wide feet. I wear a wide, a size wide in many of my running shoes. Um, so I've had these and been testing these for, you know, like I said, since the summer. Um, I've climbed with them in a variety of conditions, right? So I've climbed some pretty hard boulder problems where you're doing a lot of like really thin edges and, uh, you know, smearing off the rock and found these to really be great for that. I've also worn them in a couple multi-pitch days up in the gunks in New York, um, where you have a lot of horizontal climbs and overhanging climbs. Found these to be awesome. Um, I actually found my, I had to remind myself to take them off sometimes, you know, like I get to the bottom of the cliff and it might be muddy or wet and I, I, I'm just comfortable. So I, I left them on. Um, I've also had them out in some really slick rock in Pennsylvania at Ralph Stover State Park. Um, the rock is like this dirty, shiny, polished, I don't even know what kind of rock it is, but it's super slippery. And I found these to be really good for it, right? They, they're really grippy. So now when I'm talking about grip, let's go in. They have this C4 grip on them, and sorry, they're a little dirty, but I found this grip to be really, really good in a variety of conditions, whether that's cold conditions, warm conditions, sticky, humid, East Coast conditions, found it to be super sticky. And I like how stiff they are. They're not like crazy stiff, right? They're probably medium, I would say medium stiffness. Um, and now if you look at them, you know, they're not super bendy, but at the same time, they're not like so stiff that like your feet hurt. Um, I chose to get them with the Velcro just because it's super simple to put them on and off. You know, my climbing season here usually lasts into late fall. So sometimes I am, you know, pretty cold when I'm climbing. So anything I can, you know, still have my gloves on to put these on, super helpful. I don't need the tiny knots or anything. I, I really like these. Um, Additionally, I you know, one of the things I really liked about these was I could take them out of the box, put them on, and felt like I didn't need like, you know, hours and hours of climbing to break them in. They just overall fit super well. You know, they're, they're comfortable, they're grippy, and they're durable, right? I've had many days of climbing in them and they're not showing a lot of wear. You know, one place that usually I see a lot of wear, and I even saw them on the other shoes that I showed you, is the top of the toe here. Sometimes that rubber, or if it's, you know, sometimes they have like this different the suede or different cloth material, that will wear as you're, you know, in some of those horizontal cracks you see at the gunks and things like that. With these, they have, the rubber comes all the way up, which really, one, helps the performance, 
but two, it makes them way more durable. Um, so overall, if you're looking for a shoe for, you know, whether that's quick bouldering problems or multi, multi day adventures, you know, out on the rock, I think these are the shoe. They're just the all around great shoe um, and super comfortable. So if you're like me, if you're, you know, you're climbing a variety of conditions, this is definitely the shoe for you. So check them out. Again, they're the 510 Nyad shoe. And we'll have a link in the bottom here for um, how to check them out on 510's website. And you can check out my notes in the review below. Thanks.